we are back with the finals reviews. We're into the semi-finals now, and the first semi-final was an absolute cracking match of footy. Uh, I don't think there hasn't been a single match that's been a dead rubber this final series so far. This was definitely the upset of the final series so far, and it'll probably remain that way, I'd say, unless they win next week against Geelong Brisbane. But yeah, this is this was an incredible match. Um, just before half time, Brisbane looked right out of the match. Um, uh, Melbourne seemed to just be controlling the play. They dominated early, didn't put it on the scoreboard. They were very inaccurate, Melbourne. Um, and that really cost them in the end. Um, yeah, they were just... when In that first quarter, before Charlie Cameron kicked Brisbane's first, uh, Melbourne, they piled on three goals in a row, as well as about six or seven behinds. Um, they were dominating. They just couldn't put on the scoreboard. Uh, they had all the play in their forward half. They were dominating aerially. They were shutting down Brisbane's fast ball movement. They just couldn't get anything going. But as the game wore on, Brisbane really clawed their way back into the game. They were inspired. Um, look, Eric Hipwood was brilliant up forward for them. Uh, they had brilliant contributors in the midfield and the back line. Their defence actually stood up today, which is the first time that's happened in quite a while, really. Um, they haven't been renowned for their defensive pressure or defensive system at all. But today it stood up pretty well, particularly in the second half. Look, we can see here when we look at the scoreworm. So yeah, Melbourne kicked those first three goals. Then it was goal for goal for a little bit uh, before Melbourne really kicked away in late in that second quarter. They had a 28-point lead. Uh, then Callum Archie kicked one right on the siren. And the second half was all Brisbane. They absolutely dominated. They were fast attacking with their ball movement. They were pretty much, like, they were sublime with their skills. Uh, all of their big names got going, really. Uh, Lockie Neal, McCluggage, Cameron, Hipwood, like, Everyone stood up in that second half. Bailey, McStay even kicked a couple of goals, including the match winner after an absolute brain fade by Jake Lever. I don't know what he was thinking when he got tackled just to drop the ball on the ground, just to place it like rugby style uh, try. I don't know what he was thinking. And then he just. And then when he did get paid the free kick, he just like looked at the scoreboard. I don't even know what he was looking at. Uh, I think he was looking at the scoreboard. He was, like, yelling and shouting and, like, stomping his, his feet on the ground. And then the umpire eventually called 50 metres because he just didn't give the ball back. He was just taking forever, wasting time. Um, and, yeah, McStay kicked a goal from the right on the edge of the goal square um, to seal the match. Uh, absolutely superb from the Lions. They're into a preliminary final. Uh, this is the first time they've won multiple finals in a final series, um, since they've become good again. Uh, look, if I had to give my best on ground votes, I'd have to give one vote to Hugh McCluggage, uh, was brilliant in the midfield. Two votes to Daniel Rich, um, 30 disposals, a leading disposal getter on the ground. Uh, yeah, it was brilliant. At rebounding the ball from the back line but the three votes I would have to give to Jared Berry um, did a brilliant job on limiting Clayton Oliver's influence while also having a lot of influence on the game himself that was a brilliant matchup to watch uh, he had 26 disposals Oliver only had 21 but Berry I feel was a lot more impactful with the disposals that he got and yeah he just had a brilliant night um, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Another cracking final. Uh, hopefully the final tomorrow is just as good as this one was. Collingwood games always seem to be brilliant games. So yeah, uh, that'll be this review done and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.